This video is going to look at enzymes and what enzymes are and how they work. Um, enzymes are proteins, and we talked about proteins in the last video. So they're made of a long chain of amino acids. And they act as catalysts. And catalysts are substances that make chemical reactions go quicker without being used themselves. An enzyme has a particular shape, and that's due to the amino acid sequence, um, as we saw in the protein video. Um, so they're folded in a particular way. So enzymes have a specific shape, and part of the shape is something called an active site. The active site is the area where the substrate, which is the chemical or the chemicals that are going to react together, can bind. Enzymes are involved in all different um, reactions that happen in your body, and one of the examples is... Um, the breakdown of a larger molecule into smaller molecules, for example, in digestion. The substrate is the substance that is going to be broken down, and you might call it the reactants in chemistry. So this is the substrate. And the substrate floats around inside the cell, or outside the cell in the case of um, digestion, and collides with an enzyme. When it collides with the enzyme and fits into the active site, it forms an enzyme substrate complex. And when this is, happens, when this is bound, then the reaction happens. And in this case, the enzyme substrate complex causes the substrate to be broken down into two smaller molecules, uh, which will be the products. The enzyme can go back and pick up more substrate, it doesn't get changed, it doesn't get used up. Um, other reactions will go the other way, so you might have two smaller products joining together to make one bigger product, or changing um, one substance into a next substance. And the enzyme is specific to the substrate, and a different enzyme doesn't work on a that particular substrate and a different substrate won't fit into a particular enzyme. So we've got our same enzyme here again. We've got now I've got a different substance which looks different and has a different shape. Because it has a different shape, it doesn't fit into the active site. If the active site changes shape, as we'll see in a second, it also won't fit into the active site. There are a number of factors that influence how quickly enzymes work. And one of the first factors will think about is um, temperature. Now temperature um, affects the rate of a chemical reaction because particles move at different speeds and vibrate at different intensities as the temperature changes. So looking inside a cell for example, the temperature, as the temperature goes up, the rate of the enzyme catalyzed reaction goes up. This is because the particles are moving faster, they colliding more often they have a greater chance of collision at a sufficient amount of energy and therefore the reaction happens quicker. This increases up to a certain point and in our body that's typically 37 degrees and that's the optimum temperature for the enzyme. When we go above the optimum temperature the um, enzyme is, starts to shake too much. It gets too much energy and the bonds that hold the enzyme together start to break. Because they start to break, the enzymes change its shape. And because the enzymes change its shape, the active site also loses its shape. We call this that the enzyme is denatured. A denatured enzyme no longer fits the substrate. Another way that the enzyme activity can change is by looking at pH. And pH also affects the bonding in the enzyme. And different pHs um, will give different shapes to different enzymes. The amino acids all have particular charges and the extra charges in the um, surrounding liquid changes the shape. So the enzyme again can denature. You notice if you put lemon juice or lime juice on fish it will start to change the, the substance, it will cook it. So for example something like pepsin which is produced in the stomach works best at pH 2. But if the pepsin would get into your mouth or would get into your small intestine it would no longer work. Amylase, that, which is, works in your mouth and digests carbohydrates, 
um, works best at pH 7. Once it gets to the stomach, it gets to nature and it doesn't work. Trypsin is produced by the pancreas and in the small intestine, works at pH 8. 